Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. Happy Friday, everybody. It's still Friday. So let's find out what's shaking for the weekend, everybody. Happy Friday, okay? Sorry I'm late, guys. Thank you for joining me again. All that you do to help me grow the channel. Thank you for my lovely members who joined my subscriptions. All right? And thank you for everything that you do, which is super thanks, and all of the purchases. I truly appreciate you guys. I am still getting hacked on my email. I might have to get a whole new email because I'm not receiving anything from anybody when I usually normally have a slew of emails. Okay? So they're definitely hacking me. The energy I got is a 20-year-old hacker. Somebody could be in their 20s. That is who is hacking everybody okay and this person is paid this person is packing is hacking all kind of institutions everything that they can't hack in regards to you your emails any messages or anything outgoing okay or incoming they're hacking it I had my clients tell me that their emails are being returned saying that my email is unavailable or is invalid Okay, so that's what I'm getting here because they're hacking my channel. They don't want me to get anything from you guys, any bookings, any appointments, any purchases, or anything. So this still could be happening to, happening to you guys as well. All right, so happy Friday and what's shaking for the weekend? Everybody was shaking. All right, so I got a job offer could be coming in for somebody here. Twin Flame Energy is here. Somebody's in fear of their finances. They don't know what's going to happen. Somebody is stuck in a toxic relationship, but they happy. They happy being stuck in this toxic relationship. All right? This could be a feminine. That's a possible drunk. Okay? And some communication could be coming in here. And somebody needs to pay attention to their kids. All right? Somebody could be watching your kids or you need to watch your kids and you need to pay attention to what they're watching online okay all right so I got some energy here and we're gonna get off into this for the weekend okay uh oh okay so look at this a new beginning here so somebody definitely could be pregnant okay all right so it's a loving man here somebody could be supporting the person that they have pregnant okay let me turn this down all right so yes a lot of things happen here in regards to a pregnancy here too all right it could have been a storm here like an argument some disputes in regards to a pregnancy here okay but now somebody wants to be supportive to the person that's pregnant here okay yes a lot of distractions mom and dad can you get off your phone you guys need to get off your phone and pay attention to your kids. All right? Somebody needs to watch their kids. And this is what Divine is saying here. Somebody do not pay any attention to their kids. They're highly distracted on their phone. Okay? And this is intuition. I'm keeping one eye open. So your third eye is open. Okay? And you are definitely using your intuition this weekend. You know exactly what's going on while you sit there and smoke your blunt. Okay? You could be doing some soul searching, some heavy thinking here, okay? It's something going on right here at work. It's a work affair that's going on here, all right? Somebody's name could be Shani. Shani, okay? And it's a work affair going on here. Somebody could have green hair, finger wave type of energy here, okay? And this is, it's a nosy neighbor, all right? And somebody know that this neighbor is ratchet or this ratchet, this neighbor know that you ratchet. All right, somebody tacky here and toxic here, and a neighbor is watching everything go down here in some type of household. Okay, look at that spying. So the neighbor is spying. Okay, and it's something about uh, you that triggers people. It's something about you that triggers people. Okay, the next energy I got is you're strictly here meditating. You're just finding your peace. You're not letting anybody fuck with your peace. Okay, and you could be having some great drinks right here again. You're just using your intuition. You're very enlightened as to what's going on here. You know exactly what's going on. You're aware. You're paying attention here this weekend. Okay? What's this energy for this weekend, Holy Spirit? All right? Yes. You might have some decisions to make this weekend. All right? Because you awake. You could have found out something. And you're trying to make a decision about that. All right? Somebody could have a pill problem. All right? Somebody could be pill popping, taking a lot of pills. All right? And somebody is a star. All right? This is that star energy. All right? Somebody's going to get a job offer 
that is going to make them a star. Okay? Is what I'm hearing. Holy Spirit, where's this weekend? Energy was shaking for the weekend. All right? These energies that's shaking for the weekend is that somebody is the epitome of strength. Somebody can have a lot of strength. Somebody could be going through cancer treatments, dialysis treatments, but somebody definitely has a lot of strength in the situation. All right? They could have found out about a work affair. Heavy energy with a work affair this weekend, and you getting enlightened about a situation here at work. All right? And he's just somebody that you used to know. You broke up with somebody. You have made a decision that a situation is over here. You could have some tattoos on your chest here. All right? And this is, yeah, you found out about a side chick. You were enlightened about somebody's side chick at their job, okay? And this person also could be pregnant. This is what you have been enlightened to. Your third eye is open. You know exactly what's going on here, okay? It's some unexpected news that might come out in, all right? But this was unexpected that you could have found out and it shocked you. This was a wild moment. When you found out about this affair at somebody's job. Okay. You're highly guarded in the situation here. Alright. You're guarding your energy here. Alright. You could have a son who is the man in the house. Alright. Your son could be watching any shady shit from some con ass motherfucker that you could be dating. Alright. Your son is picking up that this motherfucker ain't no good. Okay. Your son is picking up that you're dealing with a fucking con artist. This weekend, okay? It could be a male or a female, all right? But your son is on to this person, all right? And somebody could have got some body work done, all right? And now somebody's feeling good about themselves here. Yes, and somebody is feeling security in a relationship now. Somebody wants to feel secure. But this is after some body work has been done, all right? Somebody thinking that they're feeling more secure since they had some work done on their body. All right, you shouldn't change yourself for somebody. You should do things for yourself, okay? Holy Spirit, what is this energy here? All right, yeah, somebody wants to be in the spotlight, all right? Somebody could be a singer. Somebody could be a star who has some work done on their body, all right? Holy Spirit, what is this energy? Somebody is very busy. They got a lot of things going on here, and somebody could be into photography. Yes, look at this, and this job offer. All right, so somebody definitely got a job offer. All right, you might get one this weekend. Okay, where are the other messages here in regards to this toxic relationship this weekend, Holy Spirit? All right, what are the messages we need to know for this weekend? All right, so just be careful too. Somebody could be drunk and fall. All right, I see a falling. Somebody could be falling here a lot all over the place. The cards are falling all over the place. So just be careful with this energy. Okay. Mm. All right. So just because somebody is single and alone doesn't mean that they're available. Okay. Doesn't mean that they're available here. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit. What's this energy right here? Single and alone. All right. Yes. It's a family reunion going on here. All right. Somebody could be going to some type of family reunion this weekend. All right. Somebody built a toxic life and now they want to escape from it. Okay. This weekend. Yeah, somebody got support here. You can have some girlfriends that's supporting you in the decision that you need to make here. All right. They're definitely hacking your social media. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that confirmation. They're hacking your social media, your YouTube, Facebook, everything they can to hack you. Okay. But you're about to get some good news. So that's why they want to hack your shit because you're about to get some good news. It could be a job offer and they want you to miss this opportunity. So that's why they're hacking your, your social media and your emails. Somebody wants you to miss the opportunity because they're such a fucking hater. Okay? And this is make yourself a priority always. Alright? Always make yourself a priority. Alright, Holy Spirit, what else we got? Alright, this is, it's not your business. If you decide to date outside of your race, it's no one else's business but your own. Okay? And that's a confirmation here. All right, Holy Spirit, what is this energy? What is this energy? All right, yeah, somebody's trying to strengthen their family. Somebody could have just had a baby. All right? Somebody could be posting pictures online of their family. All right? And disrespected. Let me fix my edges because somebody feel disrespected and somebody wants to fight here. 
All right. Somebody wants to fight because they feel disrespected in a situation here. All right. Somebody could have found out that somebody is engaged. All right. Somebody could have still been dating, but they're engaged. Okay. And this is an ending. That could have caused the ending. All right. A loss of a loved one or a lover. All right. So somebody could have been engaged and they were still dating and somebody found out about this. And there's an engagement that could have ended. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit. What is this energy here? An engagement could have ended because somebody was cheating. Yeah. Somebody needs to get grounded in the situation. All right. And also somebody could have got their family involved in the situation. Something that happened in, in regards to an engagement. Yeah, somebody is talking to someone. Someone is talking to a trusted advisor. This could be a best friend or a good friend about a situation here. Okay, it could be some racism going on here. Supremacist energy here. Black lives matter, but all lives matter to me. Okay, what is this right here? Yeah, let's create. Definitely in regards to a pregnancy here. All right, I feel like it's some racism going on. It could be a biracial energy here. All right, and somebody could be pregnant, a biracial couple here. All right, so it could be a biracial couple that's pregnant here. But I feel like it's some um, racial tension. I don't know if this is within the family situation about this, but it's some ten tension that I'm feeling in regards to this pregnancy. Okay, yeah, they want a fresh new start here. Okay, but somebody still got addictions. So somebody could be pregnant. Giving somebody a fresh start, but they still dealing with a lot of addictions here. All right. They still dealing with a lot of addictions. Okay. Yeah. This is friends with benefits. Yeah. So this is their addiction. They got a lot of friends with, with benefits here. All right. And some of these friends with benefits could be getting pregnant. Okay. Holy Spirit. What are these energies here for the weekend? Yeah. Somebody's their own boss here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's checking out somebody's medical record here. All right, somebody might get news about a medical record. Yeah, this was a secret. All right, so somebody's medical record, um, somebody's lying about this. Somebody's keeping a secret about their health here, okay? And this is, bitch, you know I know. So somebody definitely know that somebody got a health problem, some type of secret here, and they hiding this, okay? Yeah, fuck this. Whatever this is right here, it's going to make somebody say, fuck this. Somebody could have contracted an STD or they have a serious health problem that they're not telling people, okay? And somebody could have found out about that and walked away from this person here, okay? Somebody is trying to talk to a therapist, a marriage counselor here. All right. Yeah, and somebody is a good mom. All right, somebody's really taking care of their children here. Okay, yeah, and this mom could have some decisions to make in regards to their health. Okay, in regards to their health. Okay, yeah, because somebody's about to whip somebody's ass. I feel like somebody could have contracted some type of disease. All right, and now it's going to cause an altercation with somebody. Okay, yes, from a third party situation. It's just a bunch of bullshit going on. Somebody contracted an STD. Took it back home, gave it to whoever they would here because they was in a relationship, but they're a cheater. Excuse me. Okay. And so now it's causing bullshit and fights here. And look, game over. All right. Because somebody busy cheating. All right. And I am busy right now. And they keep ignoring somebody here. Somebody is ignoring somebody who gave them an STD probably. And that person is pissed off. I'm the one who actually caught it, okay? It's a narcissist here in a situation. This narcissist could be the third party, all right? And this is drowning, not enough give and take in a relationship. Somebody is just not, it's not enough give and take in a relationship. Somebody could have blue hair here, all right? And somebody just want to be supported, all right? Somebody could have a lot of tattoos. Somebody just like con somebody and bullshit somebody. Somebody just got a lot of shit going on with multiple different people. Only take what resonates with you. Gosh, it could be your fucking twin flame. All right? This twin flame got a whole bunch of bullshit going on here. And that's why divine blocked this person from your life. 
All right. Somebody is just caught up in a whole bunch of different energies here, but they love every part of you. Okay. Somebody could have this skin disc discoloration problem here. Okay. But they love every part of you. Okay. So what else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? What is the scandal for the weekend? Okay. What is the scandal? That everything happens in divine timing. Okay. That is the scandal. What's the scandal, Holy Spirit? Yep, that we are dealing with a narcissist. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's the energy? This narcissist could have put you on a pedestal of love. Or somebody did this for this narcissist. Catering to this narcissist, bending over backwards, making them think, think that they're special here. Alright, but this could be some childhood sweethearts that could be narcissists. This couple could be a narcissist couple here. Alright, so some receipts and everything is coming out here. Something's happening in regards to some receipts. Yeah, from a business partner. All right. So some receipts um, from a business partner is important here this weekend. All right. Somebody's having a one night stand this weekend. Okay. There's a one night stand energy this weekend. All right. There's an undercover brother or a sister here. Somebody's undercover on a down low. And they could be having a one night stand this weekend. Okay, down low energy. All right, yeah, somebody stuck under generational curse this weekend. All right, somebody could be putting somebody, I'm doing a generational curse, or somebody could just be under a generational curse. Under a generational curse, and that's why they keep acting like they act in here. All right, it's some secret conversations going on here. All right, and whatever happened here it is fated to happen. Divine timing is here and it's fated to happen. Somebody could just be under a generational curse. All right, they family, you, somebody could be trying to do spell work to put your family and you under a generational curse. Okay, but just something is fated here. It's some type of secret conversation going on here. Let me find out what this conversation is about. Right, Holy Spirit, let me know what this conversation is about. All right, I'm surprised. What? I ain't got a tarot deck out here. What is wrong with me? All right, Holy Spirit, what is this secret conversation about here? Please let us know. Knight of Swords here. It could be a fight. It could be a threat. Definitely narcissism here. So I got to do a narcissist video. Narcissists keep coming out here. Holy Spirit, clarify this secret conversation. Somebody could be waiting to do something here. All right. Three days, three months, three weeks. Somebody's waiting for their ships to come in here. It's these secret lovers. These secret lovers is having secret conversations. All right. Holy Spirit, clarify these secret conversations, please. And thank you. What's this secret conversation? All right. Nine of Pentacles. It could be an earth sign. Somebody who could be wanting commitment, thinking about commitment. All right. Something is faded with this person. It could be a job offer. Somebody working towards their pinnacles here. Yeah, three of pinnacles. So somebody could be planning something in regards to some finances here. Okay. Into a job. Yeah, somebody is a hermit here. Somebody could be under investigation. It's a Virgo here. All right. In regards to some money. Yeah, somebody could be waiting. All right, three people could be working together. Three, three, three here. Okay, it's something in regards to some money. A young person here. What's this energy here? A page of wands. Yeah, somebody is waiting for some good news to come in. All right, it's an unhappy couple, secret conversations. I feel like it's multiple different people involved in the situation that is having secret conversations here. An unhappy couple here. Three of Pentacles here. It could be a feminine energy that is dating two lovers, two male lovers here. Somebody could already be in some type of relationship, have a family situation going on, some type of domestic family situation, but they're unhappy and they could be having a secret lover here. All right. Somebody could be um, talking to someone younger here. Also, someone's child is having secret conversations with someone. Okay. Something could be going on for three months, three years, three weeks, three days. Something might come out about a secret conversation here. All right, yeah, in regards to this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, okay? Yeah, and a King of Pentacles. 
So it could be two male energies. It could be a secret conversation going on about this too. It's a lot of shit. Secret conversations going on this weekend. All right. Holy Spirit, anything else we need to know about the scandalous energy? Yeah, a sugar daddy energy here. Somebody's a sugar daddy. And somebody could be paying for hotel stays and taking people to the hotel this weekend. All right. Yes, like strippers. All right. So somebody's taking the strippers to the hotel. This person could be married, have a family, but they paying strippers to go to the hotel with them and their best friend too. Okay. So it's some fun happening this weekend, huh? And whatever happens at that hotel, Divine said it's faded. All right. And somebody claimed that they love you. All right. That's the scandal. They want to tell you they love you. All right. Well, maybe they love the third party. Okay, maybe they love that third party energy. Okay, what else is shaking this weekend, Holy Spirit? So it's with our finances. All of us, we got some type of fear going on with our finances. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's this fear going on with our finances here? All right, all work and no play makes us dull, boring, and uninterested in shit. All right, so we're worried about our money. We could be working overtime, extra time, trying to make sure our finances are okay. All right, so something is a bad investment here. All right, yeah, somebody's windfall. So somebody could be trying to steal your windfall. All right, I feel like somebody was warned about that, that it could be a bad investment. All right, Holy Spirit, what's these energies here? Yeah, look at that, that they got ill will towards your windfall or any type of money that you have coming in. You need to save your money because somebody doing hexes and spells and curses on your finances here. All right. But you will have a lucky streak ahead. Okay. And they want you to stay positive in regards to your finances. Okay. Because you got a lucky week, a lucky streak ahead. Okay. And you might have to start from ground zero or whatever lucky streak that you're running into is going to allow you to start over. Okay? It's going to allow you to start over. So somebody was warned about fucking with your money right here, but they did it anyway. So Holy Spirit, clarify this bad investment. Divine warned somebody. Warn people. All right? Mm. Okay, so as I look over here, I see this right here. Look at this. It could have been a Virgo or a Libra, all right? They could be planning something here for September, all right? It was bank fraud. Fraud was involved in a situation, and maybe in September this is going to hit the fan, okay? Holy Spirit, clarify this bank investment. I mean, this it's a bank investment. It's a bad investment. So somebody was into bank fraud. Somebody got child support to pay. All right, this King of Pentacles could be into bank fraud. That's how they get their money here. All right, I feel like it's a group of people that's working together to do this. All right, somebody's jealous about somebody's independence here. Holy Spirit, clarify this bad investment financially. What is this bad investment financially here? The King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They made a bad investment in regards to some type of scam. All right. Yes. Two of Wands. They're at a crossroads now. Somebody doing heavy candle magic in a situation. Or definitely on somebody's finances here. All right. Yes. The Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And when I say bank fraud, and who is that? A Virgo. All right. This person could be doing bank fraud. This person could be doing candle magic on people's money. All right. Holy Spirit, the Queen of Pentacles. This person don't have all the money that she claims she got. She got it through other people's, from stealing from other people. All right? Look at that from the Empress. Okay? Now, Empress, you could be coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, in your bank. All about your money. Okay? But you definitely got somebody else watching your shit, too. And they was warned about this. Okay? Yes, the Ten of Cups. Look at that. Somebody watching you, your family, your family money. All right. That's what they're watching, Empress. Okay. And look at this. It's a soulmate connection. Somebody definitely got their eye on you. Somebody definitely is a drunk. Somebody could be drinking a lot of Jack Daniels or any type of dark liquor here. All right. But somebody's heartbroken in a situation. Somebody could be healing. Somebody could have just got out of surgery. 
All right. Yeah. Page of Swords. Could have been some type of altercation. Somebody got a big ass nasty mouth. Say cruel things. Somebody could be stalking, watching. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, yeah, somebody definitely could have had a surgery here. All right. Some truth could have came out that could have led to an altercation where somebody got hurt. Okay. It has something to do with somebody's windfall. Somebody's fighting over money. And, and the sad thing about it is the money is not even theirs. And that's what Divine is saying. It ain't even their money. And they said, what? That's the truth. Somebody definitely could have got stabbed in a situation. I want to clarify the Ace of Swords, Holy Spirit. What's this Ace of Swords? The truth about an unhappy couple. All right. Who had a fucking tower moment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, because somebody steals from people. That's how they make a living here. They stalk people. They set them up. They scam them. And they steal from them. All right. And they're about to have a tower moment if they haven't already. Okay. Yeah. Somebody want to come and apologize to you. All right. But they're still connected to a bunch of fucking thieves. And whoever this is who want to apologize, they ain't going to tell you they rolled it. They played in the thieving. Okay. They ain't going to tell you they roll. Holy Spirit, tell us about this weekend. All right. What is the domestic arena here? What's happening on a domestic arena? Extended family. All right. This is um, extended family could be doing magic on you. In-laws and extended family. Okay. Also family reunion energy here. All right. Your kids might have a lot of questions for you. Some of these questions might be hard. All right. What's these energies? Somebody need to get their kids groomed up. Haircuts. The hair need to be done here. Okay. And spirituality. Somebody's definitely doing candle magic on your spirituality here. Okay. Definitely doing candle magic on your spirituality. All right. Holy Spirit. What is these energies here? All right. Child care. Somebody need child care. All right. In a home, you need to watch your kids. You need to teach your kids. Train your kids. All right. And this is a birthday celebration. Somebody can be planning a birthday celebration, going to a birthday party for the kids. All right. And look at that. I said y'all need to discipline y'all kids on screen time. Y'all have to watch what y'all kids are watching on the screen. Okay. They're spending too much time on a computer, on a phone. Okay. Yeah. Somebody need to potty train their kids here. Get on that potty training here. All right. And this is bedtime stories. Some of y'all kids like bedtime stories. All right. Holy Spirit, what's the domestic front here? We're shaking for the weekend. What's the domestic front, Holy Spirit? Just checking your kids' backpack. Make sure you know what your kids are taking to school. All right. Make sure they have their school supplies here. Okay. And summer breaks are over here. You have to get your kids out and ready for school okay this is more grooming here this could be somebody a dog grooming to go out here this person could be a player all right and your kids want to send you some type of gestures of love they could be making you some type of school projects here all right and somebody could be sending out thank you notes this could be from a birthday party or this could be from a wedding okay any more domestic energy here yes all right, points, miles, and coupon, coupons. So make sure that you clip your coupons and get those points and miles, okay? And this is two fairy energy here. All right, so make sure that you put that cash up under that pillow for your kids. All right, and this is service. All right, doing working, um, you know, volunteering and doing uh, work for your kids at their school with them, okay? And definitely do the laundry. All right, we need to do the laundry. All right, so I'm going to pull my own energy in here. We're going to wrap this up here for we're shaking for the weekend. Look at that. Somebody wants to kill you. All right, and look, they're paying people to do this. It could be a Taurus or a Gemini who could be doing this. All right, we already got that. What are the energies we need to know? All right, so somebody could have warts through sex. What's these energies we need to know? Lies are being told here. All right. Yeah, lies is being told and a fight broke out. That's the energy I picked up here. Somebody lying about something and a fight broke out. Broke out. This could be a tall person who could be six feet or taller. Okay. And somebody was spending money on you, but it was stolen money. 
Okay, so somebody was spending stolen money on you. All right, Holy Spirit, what are the other messages for this weekend? What are the other messages for this weekend for all signs, Holy Spirit? What are the messages for we're shaking for the weekend, Holy Spirit? Stolen. Your mail. So somebody stole your mail. If you were expecting anything of value, importance, any checks or anything like that, somebody stole it. All right? What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? Ooh. All right. I'm just going to take this one. Somebody is a big-ass liar. All right. Somebody could have lied about a vacation. All right. It's an in-law going on. Money spells. I see a blue car. Hacking. Somebody lied to you. All right. And somebody also lying on you. Okay. Somebody spending too much money on a birthday. All right. Something going on with these in-laws. They could be doing money spells on people. All right. And something is happening. And what is it, Holy Spirit? Look at that. Fraud. All right. What's happening is fraud. And it could be from somebody's wife. All right. This could have happened on Thursday. Or will be happening on Thursday. Your woman did it. Your wife. Okay. Scammed you and stole from you. Okay. What are these other energies, Holy Spirit? Yes. A crime was committed. Okay. This crime could have took place on Thursday. And somebody don't want somebody to tell. Okay. It was stolen. Look at this. It was stolen. And a younger woman did this. Okay. Look at that. It was a white person. Okay. Only take what resonates with you. Something was stolen from a white person. Okay. Holy Spirit. What's this energy? A preacher could have been involved here. Somebody tampered with something here. I see a black car. A preacher. Somebody in their 40s. Something could have happened in February. All right, something pertaining to Aquarius and the Pisces. All right, what else we need to know, Holy Spirit, for this weekend energy? A car here, a black car. What's going on with this black car, Holy Spirit? It's an ore truck. It could be driven by a Latino person. All right, so this person could be up to something here. Holy Spirit, it could be a younger woman here, okay? Look at this younger woman. This younger woman either could be an FBI agent, okay? This person could be an FBI agent, or this person is under watch, okay? Look at this. Because somebody wants you dead, okay? Hmm, all right? Something could have happened at a bar. All right, something might happen at a bar here. Yes, and the FBI is involved in the situation, okay? Yeah, somebody could have a wig, be wearing a wig here when they commit crimes here, okay? And look at this. Somebody is a trickster, all right? And somebody is about big cash or stole some big cash, okay? Or they paid to hit man big cash. So somebody is definitely um, on, somebody definitely is a red flag to the FBI, okay? Look at that. They meet to talk about this. They meet up. All right. Somebody could have met somebody at the corner store to have a conversation. Look at this. Somebody in their 50s. Okay. And look at the same energy I got right here. Somebody in their 50s is questionable. Somebody in their 50s could be paying a hitman or could have to harm you. Okay. In their 50s here. And they met this person at the corner store to pay them. Look at this shit. They paid the hitman. At the corner store to hurt you. Okay? This is what they did. Alright? This person could be wearing a wig. Okay? Somebody could even be sleeping with this um, hitman. Okay? And it's some forged documents going on here. Alright? What else we need to know? Yes. Sex and crimes. So it's definitely some sex and crimes going on here. And it's some shit going down at these bars. Something could have happened in May. All right. And yeah, somebody could be on probation. All right. And I'm going to leave it right here. The mafia could be involved in the situation. All right. And I see a mom and a grandma. Okay. 
So this is what I have for you guys for Wish Shaking for the weekend. All right. And like I said, I'll be updating the uh, description box here on YouTube. And like I said, I might have to get a whole new email. Okay. But I'm working with a security company to help me get this under control. Okay. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.